Alright, let's get this show on the road. Oscar, what it what what do you want? What do you want, buddy? Hmm? What do you want? <laughs> it's like dad. Pick me up. Pick me up. I want up. Then you have up? And you're like, Dad, I want down! Went down so very badly. Very badly went down. Okay. I think that we are all good. Supposedly. That's what it says, anyway. Trust it though. Why not? You want the up? Hmm? Oscar didn't want up time. What about Libby's? Libby's wants up time? Hmm? What you think? We're gonna play some Animal Crossing. Good morning, everyone. Right now on Vibe Isle, it's 9.36 a.m. on Saturday, April 11th, 2020. Can you believe it? Today is on Vibe Isle. We're hosting our very first fishing tourney. Oh, kisses. Oh, thank you. Thank you. The tourney will run until 6 p.m. Anyone can participate. Just check in the tent at the plaza. And with that, I'll get back to work supporting you and our enjoyment on... And you... Supporting you and your enjoyment of our island. What you think? Huh? What you think? What you think about enjoyment? Uh, no biting, please. Why are you being so rough? Why are you being so rough, huh? But why are you such a rough bab? It's a brand new day. We're gonna play a game. <gasps> we have a new place for our mailbox? And look, there's Bo! Oh, we're a little cat. Got a letter from Bo. I like sending postcards to friends. Should I write more? Maybe next time. <laughs> Maybe next time. Paper lantern? Paper lantern? KK Dango. I guess that's all I ordered. Huh. That's funny. <laughs> Thought I'd ordered more, but. Clearly, I forgot about the street lamps. Anyway, I got myself some. paper lanterns. Because I wanted to put different lights in my front yard. Oh, that won't work. Probably change my fence eventually, too. Sup, Del? 
I have a good feeling about this. I'm gonna catch the big one today. Everyone's gonna go fishing men, and everyone's wearing hats. Ugh, I can't catch anything. All right, let's let's just go about our rounds, shall we? Oh, cherry blossoms are over. It's what eggs end tomorrow too. Eggs end tomorrow. Excited about that. Uh, but anyway, the plan today is to play some Animal Crossing, participate in the fishing tourney, uh, build a bridge, and then uh, continue playing some Final Fantasy VII Remake. A wholly, completely busy day. <laughs> the schedule's just packed. This is a uh, bamboo shoot. Nope. Will the bamboo die in the non bamboo months? <laughs> I really do wonder. Oh, shit. That was my fault. That was my fault completely. Got too distracted by nose noises. <laughs> and I miss a rock, basically. When most everything is eggs these days. I'll do better with this one. I'd better do better. Sweet. But yeah, I demolished this bridge. Hey there, Graham. What they say about fishing, right? Well, please tell me, because I can't catch anything. <laughs> CJ's in town, hosting the tourney. Go take care of this. Two seconds.
Like, hot showers are great and everything, but... They open up all your airways and make you susceptible to allergies. What's wow? It's Saturday. It's fishing tourney day. Cherry blossoms are all over. The way people hear, the way people hate Katara, wait, Katara. Which character is that one? I know, I know that it's uh, Avatar, but I just, I'm trying to remember what character she is. Waterbender? But who is she specifically, like? Are we talking about like the the two water bending siblings? One of the four main. I thought she was good. What are, why are people giving hate to her? No, I'm not thinking of Locke. Because <clears throat> there's because there's. Katara is, like, the sister of, like, that, that pair of waterbenders, right? Oh my god. You're not being specific enough. I ask a question and then you don't even say. The only one uh, pair of waterbending is... No, her name is Katara, and she is a waterbender, and she's got a brother, and they introduce them together. Right? Or that boy that she's always with, is it not her brother? Katara is a waterbending master. Yes! Katara, right? You're not being very specific here. I know who I'm talking about in this case. Are you just messing with me? Waterbenders are waterbenders. I don't care if they're part of a tribe. I know who I'm talking about. She's still a water bender. She may be part of a tribe, but she is still a water bender. I know who I'm talking about. Yes, of course they can be in the water tribe and not a water bender. I'm more asking, I was asking for confirmation on who you were talking about because you weren't being very specific.
Whatever. It doesn't matter. The thing that matters is that I understood what you were talking about. Don't want to miss these balloons. Ah, oh, shit. Did not mean to do that. Oh, shit. Oh, I have. Oh, I never opened some shit. Wall fan. That's two of those. I have to come back for that and make sure that I remember it. Uh, hey, Plucky. Wow, my heart's really racing. I hope I can't... I hope the fish can't hear it. Right, I need to offload. Too much fucking shit in my pockets. Not enough place to store it. We have a new song. KK Dingo. <laughs> I like that one. Oh shit, I have some uh, furniture I should probably take a look at real quick. I ended up with another water fan or wall fan. I don't I don't need that. I don't need a whole bunch of fucking wall fans. Tiki torch wall fan. Yeah, no, I'm I'm good. I kinda wish that if you if you did shuffle that you could deselect certain songs to shuffle through. Uh, granted, I know that I could just remove the songs from my player, but I want to do that. That's the easy way. I want all the songs there because now I, then I can keep track of them. All right, now I can go pick up that uh, treasure. I shook all those trees. Also, I need to bury some money. Beaches real quick. Bunny recipe to sell. Right, nobody's fishing here. Oh, good bug. Good bug, come here. Nice. 
Very good bug. I realized that last night was the very first time that I didn't ever like go home and save and quit. Because when I woke up and turned on the game, um, I was <laughs> I was still just like sitting on a cliff fishing. I will fucking catch you. <laughs> Can't escape my clutches forever. Alright, let's go dig up some money. I can get that spot here in just a little bit. I just have to make sure they remember it. It's probably even just it's probably just an egg anyway. Goodness. Put away. We're not gonna. We're not gonna accidentally cover up the golden hole. <laughs> the golden hole. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's bury the ten grand. Oh my god. And then move the tree. I think it's actually where it needs to be. Like somehow magically. But we're gonna put it in line with the others. I do appreciate that <clears throat> you can move the, the young trees, uh, like, right away. Them young branches. Will be a good sell. I also kind of wonder how long it'll make me wait before I can move uh, Plucky. Like they've been here a day. Can I move them yet? I still don't know if you can place things on top of those broken dirt spots. I should probably test it. I can, super easily. <clears throat> oh, pockets are already full! Did I get... Oh shit. Who knows? Well, I mean... I could easily test it. All I have to do is just like dig up a patch of shit, bury something in the ground, and try to place something on top of it. You know what? We can run an experiment right now. <clears throat> Can't bury recipes, apparently, but we can bury a cassette player. And it should be that the first the first place that you drop an item, it should be like right below you. I'm getting a feeling that it's impossible. A kettle bathtub? <laughs> I know. I know. All right, looks like it's going to be a no. Yeah, you are incapable of placing things on top of the broken dirt.
I can sell all that. I'll drop off the eggs. <clears throat> drop off the eggs at the pool. I only have the one. Might as well sell stuff before I go up to the upper half. Then we're gonna participate in the fishing tourney with CJ! I thought that I didn't get an egg out of that, but I actually got a fucking stone egg. <clears throat> I need wood. Oh my god. Sell! Go sell your fucking shit, Jason. Is that a different bug? I don't remember ever seeing that one. It was gone so quickly. I couldn't tell. <laughs> Alright, what's hot? Birdbath. The way, the way I wanted so many people to call him out. I mean, okay, obviously you really want to talk about this. Um, is it because you feel that he did nothing and could have prevented a lot of things from happening? Uh, turnip prices, please. 120 bells, that's fine. I want to sell. the egg. Is that everything not important? Thirty-seven thousand! Yes. He let his psycho brother run the country and antagonize and impress the world. I mean, it's not... it's not false. <laughs> but then again, if he had done something about it, there wouldn't be a story. <laughs> it's like that whole... <laughs> it's like that whole, like, Star Wars thing. Where, like, uh, Anakin was a bad thing. And if Qui-Gon had listened to, listened to the Council, never, never trained, uh, never trained Anakin, oh, story's over. <laughs> Roll credits. <laughs> I don't know, I've been, I'm, I'm messing with you. I do like this microwave, though. It would go well with my kitchen that I have no counters for. That just bell? Yes. There still would be a story. The Avatar is the bridge between humans and spirits. They had a whole lot of story potential with that. I know. I'm just... I'm just... I'm saying... I'm, I'm, I'm messing with you a bit on this one. Either way, it's what they chose to write about. It's how they chose to make the story. And, I mean, whatever whatever the uncle's reasons were, I mean, it turned out into the story that it was. And overall, like, Avatar turned out to be, like, a really, really great show. <clears throat> I mean, I don't think that there was many episodes that I was ever, like, really disappointed with. And I think that, like, as far as character-driven story goes, it worked really well. There was definitely growth, learning, and potential for all the characters. Some of them weren't weren't great. Some of them were kind of dumb, but I don't know. I I imagine I can't imagine like what what it would do if they had changed that and what story we get. Like, would people still feel the same? It's like it, it's like those it's like those if you could go back in the past and change one thing that you did, would you? It's like it's it's the same sort of thing. It's like you could, but would it change anything? 
Or would it make it worse? Would it make it better? Not mana creators, except with Locke. Uh, what they did was great. Uh, it's the fans and their perception of the story and the characters. Of the okay. The same thing happens with, like, any piece of media. Like... Any s Hey! Cut that shit out! Whatever the fuck you're fucking doing, stop it. Oh my god. <sighs> anyway. Somebody could paint a picture. And it, it could literally just be, like, a sunny day. And it could mean that the painter was happy. And somebody could look at it, well, it's, like, about existential reality and, and, uh, and then the, the crushing weight of uh, the oppressive, like, corporate nature. And just, like, it, everybody interprets something the own, their own way. And I, it can be super shitty. And I guess that's why things are considered opinions. Because they're certainly not facts. I don't know. It's like in my mind, like, okay, I like Katara. Katara was a good character. I, I, I liked that she was one of the one of the Aang buddies. Like, I really did. I think that it was, it, it was great. And then, like, as far as Iroh, I like Iroh. Um, I see what he was trying to do, and I, and I don't, and I, I, I appreciate him as a character. Like, he was one of my favorite characters. You don't like him. That's okay. But it's just because, like, you, you see things completely different. And that's just that's the way it is. Now, can I have more wood? Please? Please, Mr. Nook, can I have more wood? I should be getting more hardwood out of the hardwood trees. Instead of none hardwood. There we go. Oh, nope, that's an egg. Fuck. Hmm. What did I... Oh, there's a hole there. Foreplay jazz. You'll get more wood with foreplay. <laughs> <clears throat> well, I hope that I wouldn't need to try that hard. <laughs> I'm looking for low effort here. <laughs> just gotta, just gotta like tickle the tree just a little bit. It's fine. <laughs> tickle, tickle the trunk. You'll, you'll get it eventually. Low effort, low wood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, that's that's where you get the flimsy shovel. Actually, it, out of context, that sounds like a, 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 a terrible maneuver. Kettle bathtub? It's like a cooking pot. I kind of like the look of it, though. Wait. Is the texture on top of that wood? Like, no joke, it looks like wood planks. Flimsy shovel turning <laughs> turns into flinging dirt. Like, look at the top of the, the pot. I don't know if you can see it, but that looks like wood paneling. Is there a wood panel on top of that? They put wood pot. Oh yeah, you're right. I, I would need a better look at it. Anyway. 
Surprise revoked. Uh, where was I? I was here. And I was moving... I was moving eastward. Anyway, how do things find you this morning? Hey there, Bo. <laughs> I can't wait to touch a fish. <laughs> I don't know why I like that so much, but I like that a lot. It's just a black bass. The most metal of all fish. You're eating savory French toast? That sounds great. I had my, uh... A daily bowl of cereal. <laughs> I wanted to get myself like something different at the store, but at the same time, I like the plan that I'm on. I'm not upset with anything that I'm having. I just, you know, it's like if I start introducing like certain things into my into my life cycle, I will uh, get used to it, and then I will be it'd be easier for me to like break free of the bounds of of my four months worth of programming. One of these days, though. And I'm not saying that I can't have it. I'm just saying I don't want it to tempt me all the time. I see that egg. And another egg. Those could have been iron or clay. But no, they had to be eggs. That's like, egg day is almost over. Or egg season, rather. Almost over. Got up and fucking walked away. Hey there, Ladybug. <clears throat> Sorry to disturb you, ma'am. Anyway, what is considered savory French toast? Sydney. I'm scared to take my eyes off the bobber. French toast stuffed with onions and bacon bits? Okay, that does sound like fucking amazing. Anyway, you ready for a little bit more of uh, Final Fantasy? We're gonna go we're gonna go see uh, Tifa. That's how we're gonna start the show. Tifa, Marlene, and uh the seventh heaven? Is that what they call it? Not the bees. Dude, wasps are mean. I don't like wasps. Wasps. Bees don't really scare me. Wasps scare me. You should have just said Tifa. That was all that was necessary. The, the fact that she was trending worldwide, really? Everyone has a little bit of Tifa love right now. Symbol kettle? Boom. 
How could you not? She's got titties out to Mars and hands like Mike Tyson. <laughs> I mean, wasn't there, like, a whole controversy, controversy, about how she, like, had her, had her bus size nerfed? <laughs> Tits nerfed, bro! Tits nerfed! How is that even a fucking contra controversy? Yes, but men were men were mad, so I don't care. A nail art set. Remember Mortal Kombat Eleven? Ah, uh, yeah. How they desexualize a lot of characters? Wait, that was the most recent one, right? Because I, I remember that they actually purposely made some of the female characters less revealing. Like, they actually gave them, like, actual outfits. Hey, like you're humans, you can you can wear clothes too. It's fine. Yeah. Okay. I thought I was right. I do remember some shit. Oh god. You didn't remember your stone day? Wait, what? Stone day? What's a stone day? I'm out here shaking fucking trees. I, can't, I can't, ain't got enough time to remember stone day. Absolutely no idea. I made it up. Ugh, I can't catch anything. Keep trying, Bill. I'm sure you'll get it. You know what? I'm just gonna come over here where there actually is a fish. Uh, swap it? Swap it? What do I have? Ugh, got a fucking lump of weeds? Yeah, swap it. Shit. That's that good good, yo. Right, I have like a stupid butterfly, right? Yeah. Bye. <laughs> See you later, folks. Egg. Alright, I need to empty pockets. I need to empty them now. I feel like a stone day would be like a birthday, but only, uh... But only, um... I don't know what I was, where I was going with that, because, like, there's birthday stones. Anyway, uh, speaking of good good, ready to hop back on that horse after quarantine? What do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> Pale chub. Wait, have I donated that fish yet? The dating scene? I haven't been on the dating scene in like eight years. Eight years, dude. I don't think that the end of quarantine is going to prevent me from doing that, seeing as everything else has been already. Um. <laughs> oh my god. The dating scene. 
Have I donated this fish? All right, let's go see Blathers real quick. But actually, I need to pick up that. I need to pick up that that weed. I can't leave that there. It should help. Everyone is horny and, t and touch starved and ready to go out. <laughs> well, good thing I'm an introvert and I'll always be inside anyway. Uh. <laughs> There were some neighbors in their houses that I haven't seen yet. Let's at least make sure that we're saying hello to everybody. Like Del. Let's, let's say hello to Del. Where's this Tibble? Oh, this no, it's Tibble. By the way, I don't think you've seen the inside of Tibble's house. Tibble's house is yellow. I kind of like that everything in here is yellow except for like this. <laughs> is this a chin-up bar? Alright, just finished my morning workout growl. Uh let's talk. Come up, you come up with your play for the Happy Home Academy yet? They're coming tomorrow, Grar. Then a score how you're how you've decorated your place, so you gotta put your, your A game. Uh do you want this? What can I give? You know what? What do you want? Here, have a judge's bell. This fits you. Wow, it's a judge's bell. You've been working those kindness muscles, haven't you? Can't wait to show this off. It's also looking for an excuse to move myself around, so this is really perfect. Nice. That pull-up bar stand catch your eye. Pretty sweet, ain't it? But equipment's only half the equation. You gotta know how to use it right. Okay, so that's right. Pull up, chin up. One of those things. <laughs> Some sort of exercise thing that's completely foreign to me. Alright, Dell's out there. I don't think that I saw Bofina. Bofina is such a weird name. I think I, like out of all my villagers, she's the one that I really kinda don't care about. <laughs> I mean, Plucky, maybe, but, like, Plucky's new. I haven't learned about Plucky yet. I haven't learned about his idios idiosyncrasies. Uh, you took your eye off the bobber, now I'm gonna steal your fish. Shit. I wonder if it is even possible for them to catch fish, like, legitimately. I ruined that. That was my fault. That was my fault. Instead, I will go for this tiny fish. Which is not a fish. Is a stone. Okay. We need, we need to go donate things. Um, check the fossils. Sign up for the contest. And win the contest, hopefully. need some fucking kitchen counters i swear to god i have all this cool kitchen stuff like i've seen people like receive a lot of like different sorts of themed items like uh one of the streamers that i like watching like he he gets a lot of uh like music stuff i've seen other people get a lot of bathroom stuff uh me i get a lot of kitchen shit i'm just like i want something to put my kitchen shit on 
And like, there's this cool like kitchen sink counter thing that exists that I have in my in my uh, recipes, but can't fake. I can't fucking make it yet because I haven't unlocked some like other recipe to, that I have to do. Touch to all of you. No, Tammy's inside house. Okay. It's just kind of annoying. Sup, Tammy. On chat. You want another fishing tourney? Let's go talk to CJ. He's over in the plaza, I think. Maybe. Probably. I didn't drop my fucking eggs. Why do I not remember these things? Ouch. I'm I'm a mess. Absolute fucking train wreck. Put them all in storage. What is wrong with me today? Eggs go on the floor. Come on, don't you know? <laughs> that reminds me that. Earth Angel, Earth Angel, won't you be mine? God, I love Back to the Future. Such a good fucking movie! Zzz. Alright, I got fossils. Tell me what they are. Come on, all of them. Take them all, please. Uh, at least only one. Donation? Aha! Uh -huh. I was right. I have not donated a pale chub to Blathers. <laughs> <laughs> so we can have that in a trilobite. Splendid. No, oh, that's it. Enjoy that pale chub, Blathers. Who names fucking fish these days? I swear to God. We got some bones and some bugs, please. That is a good amount of money. Apricots, love apricots. One of my favorite like little snack foods is actually uh, um, dried apricots. Love them. Oh, so good. Chewy, so much flavor. I love apricot jam. Oh my god, that's a duck beak. Duck beak. Apricot caught on an apron. <laughs> that's just weird. Oh, this is Jason, welcome. You're always stopping by and I can never stop working and have a proper chat. Sorry about that. Oh, the photos behind me? They were me and my sisters when we were younger and our parents. They both passed away years ago, but these pictures bring back lots of good memories. I was pretty young when they died, so I don't remember them all that well. What I do remember is Sable doing her best to raise me all on her own. Thanks, sis. Dates? Uh, dates not so much. Prunes, yes. Uh, <clears throat> sorry I was such a pain. 
Are you feeling okay, Mames? What happened to calling me Grable and making fun of my apron? <laughs> uh, come on, sis. I'm trying to have a moment here. It's not like we ever talk about this stuff without Jason to play referee. Don't be mean! I'm sorry, that was out of line. <laughs> You're right, we should talk more. You're an adult now, and I need to treat you like one. I'm really proud of you, Mapes. You're a lot of things I could never be, little sister. I took care of you and LaBelle when you were younger, but now we can all watch out for each other. And when the Able sisters work side by side, there's nothing we can't do. That's very cute. I like that. Uh, like the day, not the food? Like, what what date specifically? You're talking about like a date date? Uh, yes, I would like the fitting room, please. Because it is a daily compulsory thing to buy new clothing. <laughs> Any dates? Well, I mean, I'm, I'm partial to a couple. <laughs> Pedal skirt. <laughs> Jinbei? I love it. That's great. I like that very much. Yeah, Sable, Mabel, and Label uh, should get dogs and name them Sage, Mage, and Page. Uh, but then one of them might die. <laughs> Cute sneakers. Oh my god, the clothes are so good. That's okay, death is natural. The thing is, I have I have these ones at home. Yep, it's been decided. I just need to get a different hat and backpack. Speaking of natural, how natural would you say the mitochondria? The <laughs> my god, her fucking name. I'd say it's pretty damn powerful. Powerful. Pretty damn powerful. Don't blame you. H how could I? How could I possibly? Speaking of possibilities, how's your imagination? I I think I got a pretty good imagination. Duck bear. <laughs> Bunny bear. Actually, no, this is what it is. Th this is this is the thing. I look like a nurse. <laughs> I look like something. Alright. Business. Not procrastinating. I 
I still have not gotten any of, like, the cardboard furniture recipes. I really, really want them. Do I have Rock and KK? I feel like I do. I do not. Okay. Great. How come I never tell you nice things? Sorry, do I not compliment you enough? <laughs> silver, you're very silver today. Shiny sparkle that day away. Uh, I want you to tell me about my town. Not compliments. Tell me nice things. Like, give me good news. Well, currently, we're at a four-star rating. <laughs> oh, shit. I actually... I'll, I'll do that in the break. I'll do that in the break. Okay. Back in my day, the key to a good, the key to a good life was a low reset rate. You feel what I'm getting at? What I'm saying is, this here vibe you got going on is one sharp place, one sharp locale. Got that? I don't know who that is. Well, there you have it. Positive island theory. There's a life worth improving. Treated in all the decorated profession. I am lost ball. No shopping in vain. No 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 Uh, infrastructure, please. Layout changes. An island home. The newbie. Yes! It was only because he was in this process of moving in. Yes, let's do it. Who, Jesus? <laughs> the only Jesus I know <laughs> works in accounting. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm quite familiar with a lot of Jesuses. I think that covers everything. So, Plucky. Uh, Plucky's eyes look funny. Uh, do you want to move her? Jason thinks you should move? Yeah, sure, I'm in. I was just thinking it was time for a shake-up. Point the way, Chicky Poo. All right, then. Sounds great. You just leave the rest of me and my friend Jason. Yeah, I'm the, I'm the one fucking paying for your moving. Goddamn bird. Okay. The main reason why I want to move the bird is because he's the final step in fixing this river. Final step. Anyway, speaking of knowing things, do you know how to find the area of a circle? Oh, is it pi r? Pi r... It, it, what comes to mind is pi r squared, but I don't think I'm right. I don't think I'm right. You're judging up, like, high school memories here. Oh, I was right. Holy shit. I remembered a math. <laughs> Area of a circle equals pi r squared. How about that? Nope. Oh shit, I forget. Let me imagine it. Yes, th that's it exactly.
Honestly, I'm impressed. <clears throat> I have to redo the uh, the path, but now, now all villagers will live in the sub one of two subdivisions, and they will always live there. They will never threaten to ruin any other portion of my home. Or island, rather. Never again. Do you ever think about canned crushed pineapples? I know that I like drinking the juice. I'm happy now. Very happy. Will you also let me place a bridge? Ah, uh, I like juice. I do indeed like juice. I like juice very much. Like, I don't really like drinking soda, but if I had the option of drinking juice, then I would drink juice. shouldn't have to manipulate any land for this. Have I ever juiced a fresh tomato? I have not. But uh, one of my favorite juices is actually like, uh, I like carrot juice. Um, I actually am a fan of like V8 style juices. Uh, I'm like right near the river, you asshole. It's the spot. I do like that I'm like replacing all of these bridges with the, the nice stone bridges. They're nice. Anyway, you ready to join a fishing tourney? I am. You win the fishing tourney? Yo, what's up, C Sports fan? <laughs> I'm CJ, coming at you live. Hang on, of course I'm live. I'm right here. Anyway, any wave. Mankarin, uh, the premier event of the spring C Sports season. <laughs> Esports, C Sports. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. The fishing tourney. So shine those hooks and get your reels ready. Because to, between now and 6 p.m., the tourney is on. The rules of the fishing tourney are easy breezy. You just got to catch as many fish as you can in three minutes. Every fish you catch nets you points. Then enough points and you swap them for some slick fish swag. Also, there's a cooler in the tent. Any fish you catch will automatically get stowed there. Keeps the pockets dry. That means as long as you've got a fishing rod, all you have to do is compete. Yuck. Simple, right? Uh, and you can enter as many times as you like. What do you say? Ready to get your feet wet, wet in the fishing tourney? The entry fee is waived for the first run. Yeah, sign me up. Aye, aye. All right, I'm going to spray three minute. Spray is weird. On the clock for you to catch as many fish as you can. Oh, and there's also a bonus that'll backstroke in if you catch at least three fish. Yep. You done nibbling all that? Because uh, it's time to launch. Place lanterns on bridges. It's like the bridges aren't wide enough. Okay, I'm in the fucking ocean. Where are all the fucking fish? You better not be a fucking egg.
I almost kind of hope that uh, during the fishing tourney, all fish, like, can be and will be fish, and eggs aren't capable of uh, taking fish spots. Oh yeah, how is this tournament supposed to work during Egg Day? We're, we're about to find out. It's been a minute, I've only caught one fish. Yeah, I kind of wonder, does it does it change the fish spawn rates? I would hope so. I really, I would really hope that they make it so that it's impossible to get an egg while fishing for fish. Because this, this very well could be egg. I'm gonna say so far that Things are looking up in egg country. Come on, one more fish. So close. Right. So looks like it's a seasonal event. Factual outlaw. All right, CJ. Tell me about my wonderful prizes. Didn't it used to be that you would win points uh, based on like the size of your fish, or you had to like present the biggest fish? Hey, there's my favorite angler. How was it? Have fun. The fish you caught are all partying in the cooler. You can fetch them later, or if you want them, I'll buy them. I need fresh, fresh fish for my live stream to keep my followers flo following. Yuck. But first things first, let's check out what you caught on the tourney. Looks like you sold five fish in the cooler. Oh, and with a solo bonus waiting in it, three or more fish. Splash! That's seven points. I am so hyped! Pour that into your points pool. If you got enough points in your pool, you can swap them for some slick, slick fish swag. Uh, let me check. I can't ship the next tourney round until the cooler's empty. Rules, rules. Okay, that's actually kind of good because it means that you don't instantly lose... Uh, the fish, you can get it back if you want to, like, donate it. Uh, sell them all. Plus, I think that he buys at a premium, too. Uh, 
There's something else. I want to. I want to pay too much for them. You get paid. Uh, swap my points for swag. Let's see. Okay, this is what I'm interested in. You got seven points in the pool. So, sorry, but if you ain't got at least ten points, then you're not getting fish swag. You gotta earn it. Okay. Research time. AC new horizons fish swag. Why don't I make bait? I don't need any special fishes, so... Bait would be useful. Because then I could just stand in one spot and instantly get fish. Uh, without fully optimizing your fish tourney strategy, it's unlikely that you'll earn more than 7 points in each challenge attempt, so... That's not going to do the job, though, if you want to go for gold ranking in a timely manner. Uh, caught nine fish, so... Uh, craft at least nine fish bait with Manila clams. Plus, if you're playing during an event, like the event during Bunny Day, and those pesky water eggs are in your way, use some fish bait to prevent that, because you'll always catch an actual fish using bait. So maybe it is actually possible to get uh, eggs... Uh, play multiplayer with friends. Another great way to get more points in the challenges of running it, run is fishing tourney with together with friends, on line or local wireless. Not to mention the grind is way more fun with some pals. Uh, when you play challenge together with friends, you get an addi an additional bonus of up to ten points is awarded for the fish you caught together as a group. Uh, then the regular okay. Use Islander app design to terraform water nearby. Yep. Uh, tell me about the point, the per okay. Uh, since there are 13 items to get, you'll need to earn and exchange at least 130 points. Uh, in addition to prize swag, I items can also be obtained by trading in your points uh, to CJ. There are bonus fishing tourney trophy items available for reaching milestones of 100, 200, and 300. Okay, there are six variations of the anchor statue. Fish door plates. A fish pochette. Fish print and variations. Fish rug, umbrella, fish wand. Fish drying racks and variations. A fish print tea. Fishing rod stands and variations, fresh cooler, a marine pop wall, tackle bag. Okay. So we've got to we gotta spend some time catching some fish. So Sounds pretty fishy, yeah. He's there till 8 p.m., but the the thing is going until six so maybe he's just there like afterwards to sell fish to okay i guess i need bait and i need a lot of it this is where bulk crafting would really come in handy i can't see the fucking clams because of the uh the palm trees. God damn it. I should go to the I should go to the front beach. It'll be easier to see everything. There you are, you bitch. I should make a pom-pom? <laughs> For what? So I can cheer on all the fish? Come on, I'm a, I'm a duck bear. I don't... I don't, I don't need a pom-pom.
Slam and collected. For fun. <laughs> I really, I really do not dig up clams, do I? I just, I just really don't see the purpose. Had I do what? Oh, I found that out just a couple days ago. So when you go to the Nook Miles, if you have an active achievement and you use the uh, the left or like up and down on the uh, right stick, it'll instantly go to it. Um, I found that out, and I was like so happy that it that it worked. Much like how I feel about uh, the ability to move your mailbox. Why would they not tell you this? I don't know. Maybe it seems like common sense sort of thing. Like they end up telling you about moving the mailboxes, but not till like, not till after you've hit the, uh, at least like the second floor expansion. dig up more clams than I have ever dug up before. That isn't sexy Lexi of them. Nah. Okay. Book question. Have you ever read uh, that Harry Potter and the Cursed Child book? JK Rowling and after the those first seven books is dead to me. <laughs> yeah. So that's that's the one that I'm reading right now. I remember I bought it when it had to come out and I got the uh, like the screenplay yeah. edition. So it's it's like reading a script basically without like a lot of the the extra stuff that usually is in a script, but um uh I got through, like, more than half of it yesterday while working. There was a fucking clam here. Where to God. And, like, I had liked... I liked the Harry Potter books. Um, but this one, I was a bit, like... I was a bit, like, iffy about it. Uh, but like, it's not, it's not bad. Like, I think I would rather have seen it as a movie than read it in the book. Like, I like what they're doing. I like the idea. I don't know. It's just, this is, it's odd. Th thankfully, it's just like a short, quick read though. Anyway, I, I was reading it because like I I had it on my shelf, I haven't read it, so I just like let's just get get rid of that task. Come on, clams. Have fun with that. I support you. <laughs> I support you like a duke. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's fine. I don't know. It's it's a book. I'm reading it. It's fine. It's something to do while I'm working and it's slow. After this, it'll probably be like a Star Wars book or two. Either that, or I'm trying to decide whether I want to read a Star Wars book that I haven't read, or if I want to read, like, Ender's Game. I'll probably read Ender's Game, honestly. I read The Fork, The Witch, and The Worm forever ago. That is not one that I've ever heard of. Aragon? Okay. Heard of it, never read it. A shablam. <laughs> I like that. Everybody needs a good shablam every now and then. I wipe my face often. Uh, I wash my face like a couple times a day. Why? <laughs> Just making sure you keep your girls' seats. <laughs> oh my god. No, honestly, I just hate I hate having like a greasy face. It's gross. <laughs> You're fun. <laughs> I mean, obviously you need to tell yourself that. So Why can't I just buy bait? And why don't they stack? No, I can't. You cannot buy bait. Now I'm out here, like, fucking ruining my shovel. Only you can bait yourself. Yep, basically. Four more. This is so weird, like he does like that weird little sidestep thing and it's just like there's no need to. I think it's because of how close I'm putting my character to like that little edge. The invisible edge. Do you think you can live, laugh, love? Ugh. <laughs> I 
I I I don't subscribe to to white lady Karen tropes. How close to the edge you like to be? <laughs> uh, I like to be pretty far from it. room I got? One. One more clam. One more one more clam, Sam. Because, like, it's not that I'm afraid of heights, it's just that when you're close to the edge, that's when you fall. And falling sucks. I don't want to fall. like falling. Look at skydivers. Yeah, no, I totally, totally understand. sit and do this for a little bit. Would I pull taffy at a taffy shop? Oh, totally. I love taffy. Saltwater taffy is is a good candy. I think that if I could pick like my favorite candies to have in like a like a grab bag for like, you know, like you get a bag of candy for like a movie a movie time. Uh, I'd have saltwater taffy. I'd have jelly belly jelly beans. I'd have Skittles. I'd have, uh... I would do, uh, 100 grand bars. I would do... I would do chocolate-covered, uh, raisins. I would do uh, fucking Werther's. <laughs> I would do. Uh, I would do um, those strawberry uh, candies that you get at like a grandparent's house, where like the wrapper is like a strawberry, and like the the twisty top is the the leaf part. I got like the 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 goo in the middle. I, I'd do those. I would do uh, Nestle Crunch bars and uh, cookies and cream uh, from Hershey's. The only stack at the movie theaters I ever reach for is <laughs> you. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, like th those would be like my preferred snacks. Like those 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 are those are good candies. Good candies. This takes for fucking ever. But no, I really like Cracker Jacks and Brisk at the movies. I. Like, because I never drank tea, like, I never got into, like, that whole thing. I usually go into the movie theaters with nothing, honestly. Uh, I remember when I was a kid in high school, because uh, kids always have backpacks. I always had a backpack, so, like, I would take, like, uh, I'd take Snapple and bags of chips. Yeah, Snapple and chips. Uh, that was like my preferred movie tree. But these days I just go I go in there with nothing because it's like so fucking expensive. <laughs> I, I don't drink soda, I don't eat popcorn. 
so. And, like, the last thing that I'm gonna buy is, like, a five-buck box of M&Ms or Skittles or some shit. Alright, that's it. Do I have another... I have... I have another fishing rod, just in case. I don't go unless it's a date, and if it's a date, then I'm eating popcorn for maximum potential hand-holding. <laughs> Seems so cliché. Alright, CJ. I want to compete. That's fine. You're gonna pay me back plenty for uh, for doing this. We're just gonna come here. I'm a cliche kind of dude. <laughs> cliche kind of girl. I'm all about them tropes. Date dudes who are 6'5 for the height difference. <laughs> well, that's a new fish. I think. I don't like not reeling the fish, and I think I'd like it even less when I waste the bait. You know what would actually be kind of handy? Having another person here to like scatter the bait uh, while, while someone catches the fish. Wow, accidental pickles. <laughs> invite someone over. I have no one to invite over, dude. What I'll probably end up doing is I'll probably play this a little bit later by myself, so it's okay. I'm, I'm going to go through all of the bait that I have now, and then I will uh, probably play this later. Anyway, let's compete some more, but first we got to get rid of these fish. Is that a new fish?
It's best to be the lawn I've heard. <laughs> That's helpful. Um, I thought it would tell you if you've caught the fish before. sure you've caught one before. At least I've seen it before. Yeah, probably. Oh, I was right. I was right! Tell me. Tell me about the bluegill. Wonderful. I would love nothing more. The bluegill is incredibly common, a bit too common, depending upon where you are. Uh, they eat anything that fits into their mouths and are highly adaptable. Uh, the bane of fishermen in some areas is bluegill is often the only fish to be caught. But looking at its wee beady eyes, I must say it I see no ill will in it. Uh, I've caught some bluegill before. Like, I've actually caught this fish. Nah. Okay, I was right. I love it. I should catch and cook. You know, I probably could. I've never, like, gutted at a fish or anything like that, but... Got them all. Be careful, though. What do you mean? Just in general. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? If I didn't have these, like, pick up the fish animations, I'd be able to catch fish a lot quicker. I mean, they do make them a little bit quicker. The eyes hidden among the stars watch and wait. They shiver with fear of what comes. Prophetic. Don't jump the gun. Also remember to lock your car doors. Yeah. Dude, this is this is a great run. Oh, that's a new fish. Oh, 
<laughs> I make a great what? Dude, dude, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Yes! Thing I came prepared. I'm so glad that that broke on my last fish. Hey there, there's my favorite anglers. How was it? Have fun? Yep. Fish and cod are all partying in the cooler. You can fetch them later. Or if you don't want them, you can buy them. Looks like you stowed 10 fish in the cooler. Oh, and with the solo bonus waiting in at three fish or more. Flash, that's 12 points. I'm so hyped. All right, that was great. All right, and Neon Tetra. Wake up, you dumb bird. <laughs> I was unnecessarily mean to Blathers. Donation, please. <laughs> you make a great just just in general. Hoody hoo! This must be a neon tetra. I might interest you in a few fascinating facts about the neon tetra. Yes, please. What do you think of degrading language? I don't necessarily like it. Um, having been a target of a lot of it. Uh, wonderful. I would love nothing more. Wonderful. Neon Tetra is a true is truly a marvel of the tropical fish world. Just look at how tiny it is and how very filled with neon. I imagine its environment must be just as flashy as it is for it to have developed such colors. I wonder how flashy I might be had I been raised somewhere even half as vibrant. And there you have it. Fascinating stuff. Anyway, uh, my second... My dad's second wife, uh, she used to have, like, guppies in Neon Tetras. I liked them. I liked the way that they glowed. When I, when I go to, like, if I ever go to a pet store, if, if I'm looking at, like, the fish, I like looking at the guppies and the Neon Tetras. I think they're cool. Wait, why am I here? <laughs> I have no I have no knowledge of this place. Speaking of glow, how would you feel if you glowed with your emotions? <laughs> I mean I feel like people do. Sell them all. Alright, let's do one more. I want to compete. Shit. Donate what? Okay, this is not going well. <laughs> Your heart. The size. <laughs> Seems like too much work. I 
I might have to do another tourney after this just to use all the uh, the bait that I have. Do I think, uh, do you think you're better than certain people? I mean, I feel like everybody does to a point. I mean, there's definitely certain groups of people that I think feel that I am better than them, but uh, for reasons more than I'm more like I'm not trash. <laughs> but it's not like I don't know, I wouldn't consider it like a superiority thing. But no, I think that's something that everybody does. The answer should be yes. You're better than a lot of people, like Nazis and rapists. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I think that's all the fishing I'm going to be able to do. Eh, it's just an egg. Okay, tell me my points. I did terrible this time. Sell them all, please. Stop it. Get some help. Also, can I point out that uh, the olive flounder or dab that's on the side of his cooler and how much I love how derpy it looks? <clears throat> I want to compete. Alright, we're going to do this at the beach. I should have been coming down here in the first place. The fish are worth more. I've only got two bait. Let's go dancing, Jazz. Let's take a salsa class. <laughs> as long as it's not spicy. Uh, how did you fucking swim right past my, my bobber, huh? to at least get three fish. Uh, bait is definitely the way to do this. The spiciest thing in class is going to be you, laying down your moves. <laughs> yeah, as I lay myself down on the floor because I fall over. Dancing is dangerous, man. Damn it! Dang it, Poppy! Uh, because I'm an uncoordinated fool. Do you not remember me talking about how I, like, ate it hard just walking down the street? I am still recovering from that.
It wasn't your fault. There were other factors involved. Yeah, no, I know. Honestly, I fear for the safety of others. <laughs> There's no way I'm catching another fish. Yep, alright. That's it. Also, think about this. Hot single mothers in your area. Oh, I don't- I don't like that meme. That meme is gross. This of the internet. Internet made it gross. What's in the present? Ten thousand dollars? All right. All right, CJ. All right, how many points I got, CJ? Uh, sell them. This should actually be worth a decent amount, because there's some expensive fish in there. Yeah, that's, that's the ticket. I wish they would give you more time. Three minutes is not very much. There's something else. Uh, swap my points. Walk around with peanut butter in your shoes or walk around with jelly in your shirt. Oh god, I want neither of that. I'd have to go with peanut butter because it's less sticky than... than jelly? Oh, I don't know. I don't like that. That's an uncomfortable question. Stop it. No, stop. Stop. Fish print tea? Sure, why not? Got a chum. Oh, it's random. We're gonna pack it in for for right now. I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna play the fishing tourney more later on my own. Um, didn't take you for a texture man? No, totally. I don't like sticky things. Um, that's why I wash my hands constantly. Um. I don't like the- I especially don't like the feel of sticky things on, like, my hands and my feet. Yeah, this is gross. Gross. Wanna sell, please? Alright. Uh... No, nope, not the cardboard box. Sea bass, tiger beetle, butterfly. Butterfly. Ladybug, butterfly. Yeah, there we go. All the rest of it I'll keep. Yeah, textures textures weird, like there, there's only certain things that like that are fine. Let's take a let's take a look at all these new things that we just got. That in storage. <laughs> Good 
Dude, that thing's huge. It's not the one that I want, though. <laughs> That's kind of cute. I like that. It's like sardines. Okay, I guess that's it. I can't wait to not have egg day so I can get rid of all this egg shit. All right, we're gonna change. We're gonna change. Bum, bum, bum. We got a new shirt. It was the fish print shirt. We're gonna build a, a combo around the fish print. Shirt, explore shorts. Leopard prints mini skirt. No, <laughs> feeling. I'm feeling these. Let's see. What what can I get to go with this? All about that fashion. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Good old Fisher Duck. Okay. All right, no, not bad. Not bad. We got we got a few things. I still got to do more things for the fishing tourney. Um, but I will do that later on my own time. Let's wrap this up. set for something else. Yeah, I'll be right back.